Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, let's talk about your two app titles. Okay, so today let's talk about one of the most important things you could do to improve your app rankings, which is, your, which is to have a really good look at your title, right? So every one of your apps, or even if you just have one app, should have two titles, right? You should have the actual title, you know, the, the title, the actual name of the app, the thing that's, you know, when you open it up, it says the name, the thing that goes underneath the icon, the title. And then you have your app store title or your play store title. And the, the two big numbers you have to think about are the numbers 50 and the numbers 30, because you have 50 characters on uh, iTunes Connect for the Apple App Store, and you have 30 characters for Google Play, right? It used to be you had 255 characters for the App Store, but you know, because people were abusing it, like myself, they did shorten it down to 50 characters. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't use it. So, you know, we will go through keyword research in one, you know, one of these days, but today I want to talk about the importance of your app name. I happen to think that the app name is more important than the screenshots, more important than the icon, more important than the description, uh, more important than everything else. Now, you might disagree. So, you know, but again, what do I know? I'm not an expert, but I find when I make changes to the app, to the title, then things really pick up. And when I talk about the two different titles, I'm talking about, you know, the actual app title, which you probably won't change you know, very often. You might not ever change it. I don't really bother changing it. I've only done that with one app and I didn't really see any benefit. But the, the actual app store title, man, I change that all the time, right? So let's, let's have a look at some of the top apps on the app stores and just to give an idea, just give you an idea of what I'm talking about. And just so it, cause it might sound a bit spammy and things like that when I say that, but it really isn't. I mean, ultimately what you're trying to do is get the right people to find your app. And you know what Google wants? Google wants the right people to find your app and Apple wants the right people to find your app. So helping them out by putting, you know, the main reason for the app, the main thing the app does in the description helps everybody out. So let's have a quick look at the, uh, at the iTunes here. Now, if you look here, this is uh, from iTunes, the top iPhones app, sorry, the top iPhone apps, uh, you know, through iTunes here. Uh, and you can see here, the top one here is Bitmoji, you know, your personal emoji. The name of the app is not, you know, Bitmoji or personal emoji. The name of the app is Bitmoji. You've got Instagram. You've got some of these that don't need to do that. They're kind of, you know, they're, they're up there. They don't really need to worry about, you know, they have a brand name of themselves, of their own, but you've also got other ones here that they do have a brand name, uh, but they still do it. Let's, let's go over here. Number three, we've got YouTube. Now, who doesn't know what YouTube is? YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world, but still, they still use that full title. YouTube, watch and share videos, music, and clips, right? Just in case you're searching for watch videos, they want YouTube to come up first. Uh, over here, we've got, uh, you know, TurboTax. You know, TurboTax is a brand name, but still they call it you know, TurboTax Tax Return App. Over here we've got, uh, let's see, we've got SoundCloud. If you look at SoundCloud, music and audio, right? They could just call it SoundCloud. Uh, let's look down here, Hulu, Hulu stream movies and watch the latest TV shows. I mean, just go through the, through the top app stores and you'll see lots of them doing that. I mean, Hulu's not expecting people to say, hey, have you tried Hulu stream movies and watch the latest TV shows on your iPhone yet? No, they're not. They're just gonna say Hulu. But, you know, if somebody searches for stream movies, then they're gonna want that to show up or at least be in the runnings for the search results. And, and to give you an idea of why keyword research is important is because you know, I can't, I can't just release my own streaming music and <laughs> streaming movies uh, app and then say, you know, overpass movies, stream movies and, and all that stuff and expect to be, to surpass Hulu because they've got tons of reviews. They've got tons of downloads. They've got tons, you know, the app store knows that, you know, people will want that more than my unestablished one, at least in the beginning. And that's one of the reasons why I might not do stream movies, but I might do um, stream films or something, I would look for some other keywords that might be searched, but they might not be the ideal ones. Let's switch over here to the, uh, to the Play Store. So over here, I've got the Google Play up on my, uh, my screen here. If I go into under apps and we go over here to top charts, here we'll go through the top, um, the top apps. Now, what you should be looking at, 
you know, not just the top apps, you should also be looking at the top apps in your category. So whatever category that is. Like for me, it's the medical category. So I have to, I want to see how those ones are performing. What kind of keywords are they using? What kind of stuff, uh, you know, how, how are they doing? But let's have a look here. So we've got um, number one, we've got WhatsApp Messenger, right? They could just call it WhatsApp, but they don't. Uh, we got Facebook, Instagram, the same ones over here. Look over here, number uh, the game here. We got WWE Champions Free Puzzle RPG. They've used as much as many characters as they are. They could have just called it WWE Champions, right? We've got over here. Let's see what else we got. Uh, we've got um, official DVSLA Theory Test Kit. Uh, that one's kind of just you know that's actually what it's called. Uh, Oh wait, I'm not even in top apps. So, <laughs> so there we go. Schplock, Schplock boot sale and classifieds. I'm sure that's not what they, you know, if you go in and download the app, I'm sure that's not the whole name of the app. So, so you can see here that there's a lot of things that, you know, people do and Spotify. Spotify, I think should be up there with Facebook as something that everybody just knows about it, but no, they use music streaming app because, you know, because they know that somebody could go in there and type music streaming app. And of course, you know, one of the ways to find out what some of the popular search terms are is just go up here into the, uh, and do the, what was called a Google Suggest for the Play Store. So if I type in, you know, music, S, you know, streaming studio, speed chamber, say stream, you know, music streamer, music streaming app, you know, all this kind of stuff. So again, it, the reason I bring this up is, you know, some people have been asking me to have a look at their play pages and I just have a quick look and I'll, immediately I could see, I don't know what anybody would search on. Like it's, and to give you an idea of what some of the things I'm talking about, and I hesitate here because it's always changing, right? My apps are, you know, like I said, the two app names, there's the name and then there's the one that we use for, for marketing and for search and stuff like that. So if I go into my Google Play here, let's have a look at, um, down over here, we've got these games here like um, Learn Arabic Bubble Bath Game, Learn Algebra Bubble Bath Game. So I want to do like learn, say learn Dutch, right? So that's what I want people to search on, learn Dutch uh, to, to come in here and see that or learn Swahili. If I go into the, um, into the Play Store and I type in learn Swahili, then bam, my app is number four. You know, when, when there's quite a few uh, Swahili learning apps here. But if I go in and do uh, Learn Mandarin, which I do have Learn Mandarin Bubble Bath, you can see my guy is way down. I think Learn Mandarin, oh, here it is, way down here. So it's, you know, not, it's not high enough. So what does that tell me? It tells me that, you know, the, well, first of all, Learn Mandarin is far too competitive. Too many people are using that keywords and, and these other guys here are doing phenomenally well. So I have to start thinking about what are other kind of things that people could be searching on, like maybe study Mandarin or study Chinese Mandarin or, or, um, or memorize Mandarin or, or um, you know, rote memory or whatever. So start to put things in there. Now, 30 characters is not a lot. One of the downsides of my apps is that I called it Mandarin Bubble Bath. So when you get to the end, you don't have that much space left from those 30 characters. And I've thought about changing it. You know, this is one of the things it keeps every so often I'll come up and say I'm going to change it to uh, Mandarin bubbles because nobody's going to search on the word bath, right? I don't even know why I put that in there. I just thought I wanted bubbles and a bath made sense, right? So, you know, that's, but then when I go, I see there's a lot of Mandarin bubbles. I see there's a lot of, you know, that kind of stuff. So, you know, now I try to keep those names as short as possible so that, you know, because that's one thing. When I say you have your app store name and then you have your app name, you do want it to be related. You don't want it to be called something completely different, but you can, you do have a little bit of wiggle room. You don't want somebody to download your app from the app store and then have something completely different on their phone. So anyway, this is probably, like I said, it's one of the most important parts of, of the app store. Some of you guys have been asking, you know, why is my app not being downloaded? I think this is the first thing you need to look at. You need to look at, you know, think about your user, thinking about how somebody's gonna find your app. You know, are you expecting it to be featured? Because I always think that's not a very good strategy, right? Um, and uh, you know, you know, how are you gonna do that? And and we'll go through different ways of of finding different keywords. It's not an exact science. This is one of the one of the, the problems with it is is a lot of you know give and take and testing and all that kind of stuff. But but in the end, that's what you have to do. Step number one is getting people to find your app. Step number two is getting them to download it. You know, step number three is getting them to buy something. And uh, and that's and, and what comes into play there is the is the name well and the description. I mean, you could have keywords in your description, but 
it's better to have them in your name, right? And then when they when that comes up in search, then they see all these icons. At that point, you know your your icon has to be you know attractive and and they have to want to download it or it has to you know be compelling for them. And then they see the screenshots and then maybe they read the description, but. But as Tom at, at Learn to Master said in the comments the other day, is he finds that most people don't read the description. And I find that too, right? So, you know, and it, it turns out if, if you don't have room in that title, if you're going to put it, especially in Google Play, if you're going to put it in the description, put it in that first sentence because you, you want that to show up there. And of course, you know, you're not going to rank really high until you start getting the reviews and the downloads. It's a chicken and egg thing. So that's why you have to come along almost like coming along the sides and think what keywords are people searching uh, that may not be that other one that I can't even rank for. So anyway, that's it for today. Really, really quick. Uh, and uh, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.